We're going to take this truck from this to this. Just an amazing difference. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. This here is going to be a detailing polishing video on an old truck that probably most people would never polish. But I polish old stuff. I feel like if you're going to sell your car, put your best foot forward, make it look good. And I've got pretty good eye for knowing what paint's going to buff out and what paint ain't. And I'm here to tell you, most paint will. Might not look like you want it to look. It might not look like a brand new Ferrari, but it's going to look good. It's going to look better. This video is a detail. The first, the washing of it starts at about the 540 mark. The polishing of it starts at about the 930 mark. And so, just giving you that heads up here, this is the beginning to the ending of doing this. All the products to do this with are in the link below on my Amazon storefront. Check this out. And I'm here with Vlad. Whoop. Wait a minute, who are you? I'm your director. It's the director, it's Lily. Vlad likes to help, he likes to be outside. We're gonna do some car detailing. And like, these cars have been around, not detailed, in a long time. Battery went dead, so I figured I would show under the hood. And like, this thing is clean. I bought this thing from a park services type thing. I gotta get the miles off of it, but there ain't many. Look at this, this is gonna come so clean. And it started leaking tranny fluid, and that was pretty much what our end of the using it was. It used to be my trash truck. I'm gonna run it down to bitter disposal and do it to it. Sides of this truck are clean, and I'm gonna go over this thing now and later. I'm gonna take some more pictures under here. But it's really clean except for a couple places there's rust and nothing in the body, um, in the floor. Well, I mean, I guess that is the body. But all this is gonna come super clean. Um, look at this though. Just a little start of a something there. Ain't worth mentioning, but I'm gonna mention it. Dan, you'll see all this kind of clean as can be. It's just got some surfacey type stuff. Look at how that's all still real metal and stuff. Beautiful. Beautiful. That frame is gonna look just amazing. And yeah, that's I'm gonna do a quick walk around because you know it's gonna look so much different. And I've detailed this before. <laughs> it's been 15 years ago, I'll bet. But clean truck, if you're interested, you need to give me a call. And I guarantee you, it's one of the cleanest little bodies you're gonna find. Ain't nobody gonna beat the deal I'll give you on it too. Look at this. Nowhere. None. None hardly. Just amazing. I don't remember. Yeah, I can't see it because they get fogged over like this. But that's the truck. Listen to them doors, buddy. And this ain't even got a good bend in it yet. Imagine that. Okay, so that's the one we'll be detailing. And I'll take a video of the other one. I'll maybe put it together at the same time. I don't know. Hey, are you getting unruly? Are you getting unruly, boy? We've been cleaning and moving, and we got a nice row of cars there. We got a nice row of cars here. And everything out here has basically been moved around to where I got a Trans Am line and a Firebirds and we got the trucks all heading way back over to the north end of the lot. But we have basically moved every single car up front. And that one we didn't move out of position, we just pushed it up to the fence. But everything's been moved and it's looking good. We got a lot of room. We got so much room. I'm gonna buy a bunch more stuff now. What are you doing, bud? You laughing? Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. He's not very happy inside today, so we brought him outside. He likes being outside. Look at this. This is going to clean up so nice. And just part of the whole deal of getting this thing done. We might even paint that bumper. Don't know. How's the back one? Yeah. We'll see. It would look good redone. But I don't know that it's going to add a lot of value. But that's all I'm about here is adding value. I wish I had a set of wheels for it. I do in San Diego. Dang it. The car detail day. I just did an intro for this one. And we're going to be doing this one here. This is a nice K10. Big dent in the back of the fender. But I got a lot of parts for this thing. Extra fenders and such. Um, inside. It's a nice clean truck. It really is. The guy has redone this thing over and over. And made it a really nice truck. It's got a 396 big block in it, and it's been upgraded to this kind of suspension, and it's got the powder-coated wheels. This he's really done some work. What's in the back is this. And so he's done some upgrading, shall we say, and it's a nice truck. Under the hood is going to look amazing when we're done. 
Um, it, look at that frame. That frame looks so good. So I'm just going to be making this a little nicer. <laughs> I'm wanting to rip that thing off. That's exactly what I need for my blower motor. But there we go. That's the deal. Um, if you're interested in the truck, you can get a hold of me. But it's just going to be a detail video, and I'll try and put some stuff in here throughout it as we do it. Up under the wheel wells. It's definitely a very nice truck. So we're going to get to doing I'm going to show you the back here, too, to where you can see the before and after. It's pretty clean. And if you're looking to sell something, a lot of the stuff on this is not very serious. It's pretty surfacy, but it's getting to a point where it's going to boil the paint off and stuff, and you're going to get that nice patina pretty soon. But this, a lot of this will buff out pretty good. It really will. It's going to be an interesting ordeal, that's for sure. I'm going to show you something real quick and have Karina here help me film it so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm going to do some of this. And whenever you're doing it, you want to power wash everything. You want to power wash all this and get it good. Because get all the dust, get all the dirt, get all the grime off the frame where people can see it. I'll show you an immediate difference here. tried to film that we'll see it takes off a lot of stuff just by scrubbing it down but if you actually put a power wash to it nice and close you can see it cuts through the grease don't worry about taking some of the undercoating or black factory stuff off getting that green it don't matter people can see there's no rust and that's kind of the main thing when you're trying to sell a plastic like this is that it's not all rusty all right there's been a whole lot of washing and detail and power washing going on I'm gonna show you up close here um, the motor First off, the motor looks amazing. And it's gonna be hard to tell. You'll be able to tell from this side. Because it's shadowed. But it just looks great. And we'll wipe this down a little more. Make it look a little better. Underneath here looks great. And the wheel wells. Look at this. I don't know if you can tell all that well but it looks good. <laughs> you can't tell, but it looks good. No, you can tell. You can tell a big difference even here. Look at this. It's all factory, man. Just a little bit of, oh man. This would be such an easy project. Look at these. There's no rust, man. It's just, I don't know how the guy creased both lights on both sides without breaking the lights. Just are amazing. Let me show you the shade. This truck is amazing. I gotta look up the year. But a little bit of extra I can hit right there. <laughs> but look at this, man. Clean. Okay, so this kind of stuff, most of it's gonna go away. Basically, we're gonna do some buffing. And there's not many people probably that would wanna buff this truck. I am, however, one of those people. Now I'm gonna show you this paint up close. And when doing something like this, I'm not trying to mislead anybody. The paint is shot. I mean, it's shot. But you can always put your best foot forward when selling something. Look at this. That's going to disappear. That, all them little spots right there will disappear. Um, this right here, you can tell it's clear coat or something. I don't know if they even cleared paint this year. But look at how clean this is. It's so clean. And it's wore through thin here. Some of this is going to come off. Um, and you just get that with it. But that's how it looks now. It's dry. It's faded, it's open, look at this. Factory primer right underneath it, man. It's shiny still, I haven't even touched that with the buffer. Look at these, around the windows? I'm telling you, it's a clean truck and it deserves a little bit of best foot forwardness. So, using the best product is kind of very important and I used to make my own stuff and one of the things that I used to make my stuff was the best in the business. Um, you can hear all these people that came in later with this or that but 
I'm here to tell you there's a 3M process with the finesse it, the micro finishing compound, and the oh, there's a hand glaze. It's all body shop safe, but now they've got so many products. I'll tell you though, this used to be the one that was white. Um, it was a clear white. It's 05928. And for a all around something, this is it. Now I'm going to tell you now, the kind of work you're working on here, there'll be halos and there'll be holograms and there'll be wizards and all this stuff. But overall, you got, yeah, you're not looking for the perfect outcome here. And I usually don't put it right on the paint, but this time we're going to. That's just what there is to it. I just realized I don't have a rag, so I'm going to have to go grab that. But you can see how this is going already. And I'm going to show you up close here what this looks like. And I messed around right there, but... Yeah, look at that. And I'm pretty sure it's going to take most of all that out. Um, even that. Well, we'll see what we end up with here. This is going to be a little bit different mix. It's not body shop safe. There's some waxes in it. It's just press starter. Give me some hay. Give some protection. I'm not going to three-stage buff this so. That's the damn thing. got rid of that. I'm going to do one more piece here. And I'm also going to say that if you want to get more aggressive on this stuff, it'll work. It'll come out better. Step on your line. Good. Let me get this all wiped down a little. Man, it looks so much different. And I started on the other side. It's too hot. I was trying to show what it does really good, but it's just a little too hot over there. Now, if you want to get some of this serious stuff on this, and this ain't the most serious, but it'll probably take that out a little more. I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah. It took it out a little bit more, but it's pretty defined. You have to get pretty serious on it. As a matter of fact, I'd probably use some. Oh, 1500 grit on it. But I'm gonna go ahead and do the side a bit. I might show you something else. I don't know. You know, I started to just buff this without showing it, but even on something like this, 
where it's just so faded it doesn't seem worth doing it I'll show you too I'm doing it very quick it's not rocket science I'm not looking for a perfect finish but I'm here to tell you just a little bit of something will give you a lot of something I don't know if that made sense but I don't care who you are, that ain't a lot of time to add a really good lot of shine to the appearance. And I'm aware there's lots of things missing on the paint. There's chips and scratches and little veins and all this stuff, but that's not what it's all about. It's kind of just about getting the shine to it, show them what they're looking at. Make it bling bling back at them a little bit. It don't take much. I mean, if I've got an hour and a half and the buffing this thing, I'd be amazed by the time I'm done. You tell me it's like three minutes. Hard to tell this side. So I gotta do the door, but look at this. Look at what you're looking at in comparison. The door is just, oh, dude. I'm telling you, man, it's gonna look good. It's gonna look good. Shiny. Well, this will be about the last one I do on this as I get this buffed out. And I'm gonna show you right there. I think it'll be the best spot to give you a Good look.
Yeah, buddy. I'm too old to bend down so much. Or I'm hurting too much right now. Something like that. Well, this is the final after getting it buffed. Sprayed the wheels and everything. Got it looking good. And you could tell from before that the truck is a lot shinier. And it really shows the true colors a lot better. Um, I haven't wiped it down. It's snowed, obviously. But the cab corners and the fenders and the stuff on this truck are so clean. Um, look at these fender wells. <clears throat> this is such a sweet truck. I, I get stuff like this. My job, my duty in life, my calling in life is to sell rigs that I should never sell. I should just keep everything. Um, it runs, you got the thing, shifts, all that good stuff. Straight six, and <laughs> buddy, it is clean. Whoop, whoop. Look at this. This truck is nice. That's all there is to say about it. But that buff really helps. And you could go over this again and polish it with a better um, product, well, not a better product, a product that's gonna make it smoother and take out some swirl marks. You can see a couple things right there in the door, but you know, it's not the kind of truck that you're worried about that outcome. You just want it to look better, look nice. This truck looks great and it just looks like a whole different truck. So that's the deal. Thanks for watching. Make sure and check my channel and look down below in the description because There'll be all the stuff that we used to do this truck in it. And you can click on my Amazon storefront there and go order it cheap. I've searched out the best deals and enjoy. Like, subscribe, comment. We'll talk to you.